As a new diesel record was set today, prices tower ominously above the UK's forecourts. This carer from Manchester is among millions of drivers hit hard in the pocket. You're looking at the pumps everywhere you go, you're checking on the prices, and the prices haven't been cut. It's rubbish. It's outrageous. It's absolutely outrageous. I have to use my car for my job. Today, average UK diesel prices hit a record over 180p a litre. Petrol is now typically almost 167p a litre, but already higher in some places. Fuel duty was cut by 5p a litre in March, but retailers have increased their margin by 2p a litre since then, says the RAC. For whatever reasons, retailers don't appear to be passing on the full uh, five pence a litre duty cut to drivers at the pumps, which is uh, very disappointing from our point of view. The UK's forecourts are being buffeted by worldwide influences, including the war in Ukraine, which is adding to wholesale prices. And this cost of living crunch is increasing calls for a new way to police what we pay at the pumps. Prices rocketed after the Russian invasion, earning oil giants like BP and Shell more for supplies. There's a lot of people who simply can't get to work or get to college and can't even get to medical appointments. Campaigners want independent checks to ensure fair pricing. What we need, and it's about time, we've been calling it for five years, is to have an independent pricing regulator, a watchdog, similar to Ofgem and Ofcom. There's 37 million drivers in this country and they, have, they are clueless to us and understand how pump prices are arrived at. Petrol retailers reject accusations of profiteering, saying their costs often outstrip thin margins. But many drivers now see forecourts as milking machines, treating them like cash cows. Chris Choi, ITV News.